I don't know if I am ready for the week ahead. Um, it's going to be a big one. And please watch because I actually need some advice, some tips, especially from moms, um, because we're making some big changes in our family. So also please try not to judge because um, I know anything with parenting and motherhood often gets a lot of judgment. And obviously this is some sensitive uh sensitive decisions but um one is that yesterday was my last official day breastfeeding um for a couple of different reasons honestly i didn't even think i would make it to seven months um but somehow managed to do it and once i hit six months i was like you know what let's try to go a year let's try to get through flu season but a couple of things started happening one is that you guys know the on uh, the ongoing challenges. I was dairy free and caffeine free. She, my my daughter was intolerant to dairy and caffeine, so that was cut out for several months. Um, I am working now. I'm working a lot now, and so for me to not have any caffeine, plus she was going through crazy sleep regressions. So she was going through crazy sleep regressions. I didn't have any caffeine. So I'm up all night. I'm working during the day. I was breaking down. And also like when she would wake me up, I wouldn't be able to go back to sleep. So I started to use a little bit of melatonin. And then I started becoming a little more dependent on melatonin to go back to sleep, which there's not much research about um, whether or not melatonin is okay for long-term use while nursing your baby. So all of that combined, I mean, and then again, production, I wasn't producing much. So she kept waking up over and over at night just to nurse. It was a comfort thing for her. And not just that, she wouldn't even go to like lots of other family members. She all, she just wants me and uh, was refusing the bottle. So it just became a lot for me. And so again, yesterday was our last nursing day. I fed her for the last time I held her in my arms and I just watched her sleep for like an hour mentally prepared myself um to be over with that part of the journey and you know it's emotional because I really you know God knows best but I'm not planning on having more kids so it was and it continues to be extremely emotional I'm, I'm drying up my supply right now it's been a little bit painful so if you have um any advice on that I'm all ears the second big change is we are about to start sleep training. Um, again, I don't know what's going on with my baby. She is literally waking up every like one to two hours, maybe three hours at seven months. Um, and so my, my thought process was switching her onto formula, starting her on a lot more solids, and then uh, eventually starting sleep training. We, and again, this is controversial, but we did use um, Cry It Out with Lily. And, um, it was really effective. Like it was very hard for like three days, but then after that she was sleeping 12 hour stretches through the night. And I mean, I just can't wake up every two, three hours. I just, I can't keep doing it. It is really impacting both my husband and my mental health. We've been fighting a lot this month because our baby's not sleeping at all. And I think in the long run, that's going to have a lot more of a negative impact on our children than two or three days of crying it out. So those are the changes that we're making. If you have any advice on sleep training, drying up your milk, weaning, any of that, let me know uh, in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel because we are almost at 100,000. And that is a huge, huge milestone. So thank you.